everyone. This is Nikki with my bargain bead box for January. Um, the theme is romance. Um, it says your beads. Uh, passionate red hues form the basis of our color palette this month with accents of purple and pink. Highlights include genuine garnet, crackle, abbot, agate, quartz, and purple adventuring gemstones. While eco-friendly man-made coral and coral red shell pearls create a romantic look without damaging reefs. Sparkling crystals and swirling antique copper findings complete the collection. Well, let's get into it. Let's see. So we're going to start off with number one because this actually caught my eye first. It is a 64 by 40 millimeter chandelier focal component. And this is very nice and very interesting. Um, I'm going to have fun with this. All right. Number two is one meter of three millimeter steel roll of chain. Number three is four pieces of 22 by 19 chandelier links. These would be cool for some earrings, making a bracelet or a necklace. Um, I'm probably going to make e earrings. Uh, number four is a <laughs> 42 by 39 medallion pendant. And I like this just the way it is. I'm probably not going to do too much different with this. Um, I'm probably just going to put, put it on a chain and wear it. Or I may buy a second one and make a pair of earrings. I like this the way it is. Um, all right, that's number four. Number five is some seven pieces of 13 millimeter loop links. And I like these. I feel like we've gotten these in a different metal before. And that's always cool. Number six is four sets of toggle clasps. And these are the ones that look like bamboo, I think. Or they have something else on them. I don't have my glasses on, so I honestly can't tell you. <laughs> but um, but they're kind of cool. They look interesting. And maybe I should put my glasses on <laughs> so I can see a little bit more detail. I'll do that. All right, number seven is drop medallions, 10 pieces, nine millimeter. And they are not two-sided, but they are interesting and cool to use as charms or even making little bitty earrings if you've got the little um, components to do that with. Uh, I like these. Cool. Number eight is some spacer bicones. I like these. I, we've had these before, and I probably needed to replenish my little stash of those. So I'm glad we got some more of those. Um, let's see. That was number eight. Number nine is... Uh, this is where we get into... Um, this is a seven-inch strand of the um, shell pearl round beads and coral red. And these are man-made um, and they look very nice. Oop, out of focus there. All right, there we go. They look very good. They're very nice. Um, let me find the bag. Mm -hmm. Number 10, it says, um, the Crystal Rondell Flirty Mix. Um, and I like these. They I would use these as spacers in, on a necklace or a bracelet. Um, number 11 is some, it says, 40 pieces of 4 millimeter faceted Q 
cubic cylinder crystal beads of Alexandrite Shimmer. These are very, very pretty to me. Um, they're very nice. Um, I think they're pretty. Um, you know that purple and red can go together very well and coral also. Um, okay, now that I know that this is coral and not red, I like this more because we've gotten these in a red before. Okay, all right. So this number 12 is 16 or 16 inch strand of six by four millimeter crystal rondelle beads and it says scarlet, but now it kind of and I like the sparkle, the fast on um, from the facets, but now it kind of reminds me of being a little bit more corally. I don't know. I'll put this next to some turquoise, and it will really, you know, it already pops, it already sparkles. But next to some turquoise, this would be really nice. Um, So that was 12. Number 13 is four pieces of 16 by 16 and a half by nine millimeter. Floral man-made coral barrel beads. Okay, these are interesting. Mm-hmm on earrings, on a bracelet. We shall see. Number 14 is some bead caps, 20 pieces of eight millimeter petal bead caps, lead, nickel, and cadmium free. <laughs> All right, number 15 is something sparkly. All right, we got 20 pieces of 8 by 4 millimeter crystal faceted rectangle beads in vintage rose AB. And these are lovely. I like these. Uh, yeah, they're very sparkly, very nice. Okay. Yeah, we like the sparkles. It's 15, 16 is. A 25 by 15 faceted quartz teardrop pendant. Okay. So, a very classic looking thing to do many things with. Um, all right. Number 17 is a 10 pieces of 10 millimeter enamel coated glass beads, pink cream okay I like these okay it's very valentiny candy looking okay number 18 is 10 pieces of oh hold on that was oh this is 17 Ooh. I read the wrong thing for seven, 17 is eight millimeter of crackle agate dyed heat round beads and cherry red. That's what this is. Oops, read the wrong thing. This was 17. This is 18, which is 10 pieces of 10 millimeter enamel coated glass beads and pink and cream. Okay, and I have really been liking getting these beads that look antique -y. Um, pink and greeny. I've really been liking these. Um, I'm just going to put these in my box with the other ones that sort of look like this in my when I put them in storage. All right, number 19 is seven inch strand of three by two garnet, finely faceted rondelles. Okay, and I feel like we've gotten this before, but I say as much as I don't really like tiny um, beads like this I have been storing them up together and using them as spacers they fill in nicely on memory wire bracelets so 
I'm going to stop saying that I don't like them because they're very useful and they're very pretty and they're very sparkly. So I do like them. <laughs> They've come in pretty handy. I like these much, much better than seed beads. <laughs> how about that? As I've started learning how to do things, um, you know, my preferences have developed. That's a good word to say. All right. Number 20 is, number 20 is this 20 by 30 millimeter carved rose man-made coral pendant. And I love this. I think it's wonderful and beautiful. My only complaint is that it only has one hole ah, as I drop it. Um, so it's only got the one hole and I was hoping that it had two holes so I can make a bracelet out of it. I'm probably still going to figure out how to use it in a bracelet. It's not, it's very light. So I still could dangle it on my wrist as on a bracelet as some type of corsage. Um, which is what I'm going to do with it. I'm not going to make a necklace out of it. Um, I'm going to make a bracelet with it. Bound and determined. That's what I'm going to do with it. All right. Last bag. Number seven. Number 21 is a seven inch strand of eight millimeter purple adventurine round beads. Um, and I saw that some people weren't excited about these adventuring beads. I am happy to have any extra things to add to my stash that I didn't have. So I'm going to take these and put them, and I don't think I have any adventuring. I need to look back and see if we've ever gotten these since in the past two years that I've been subscribing to Bargain Bead Box. And if, we, if I have, I'm just gonna put them with the other ones and um, label it and be happy that I have them. Um, this approximate value of all of these was $73. Um, and so I, and I actually like this. So I like this color, especially now that I have my glasses on and I can see, um, you know, but I would figure out something, if not with this month's box, with some other month's box that I could mix and match with. I'm in a challenge with, or collaboration challenge with some ladies. So some all of this is going to get used in something. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I'll see you next month.